Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. This week we are back at my grandma's house. I think this is the last video I filmed at her house while I was back home. And uh, we went through so many of her kitchen cabinets. The first day I got there, I didn't bring my camera cause I had not intended to organize things for her, <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. So the first day I didn't film anything. Unfortunately, we went through a lot of her cup cabinets. She has so many cups. <laughs> Got rid of a bunch of those. But today we are going to be working on some of the lower cabinets. And so we're starting off with this Lazy Susan. The really cool thing about this Lazy Susan is that the racks, like the little shelves that spin, are movable. You can like unscrew them and they move up and down. So the first thing I did was my grandma cannot get down underneath this. She didn't even know what was under there, like way back in the back. So I pulled everything out and then moved the rack all the way down. Cause there's no reason to have space or anything under there if she's like not usable space for her. So I moved that down and then I did a deep clean on them because they have not been clean in a very, very long time. So I scrubbed all those down, got them all clean. And then after that, uh, I just had everything sitting out and then I had my grandma come over and we went through everything, removed expired things. And then she kind of explained what each of the containers were and all that stuff so I could get it organized properly. Also, before we get too far into this video, um, just wanted to throw something out to you guys. We are so close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. My mind is blown. So if you are into my content, if you've been watching for a while, trying to decide whether or not you want to hit that subscribe button, please, <laughs> please hit the subscribe button. My goal is to get to 20,000 before this baby falls out of me. <laughs> that is my goal. We have a couple months. I would love to hit that number. It would just be such an amazing milestone. I would greatly appreciate it. So if you're picking up what I'm dropping, I would love it if you would subscribe. Okay, back to the video. So this is the point at which I started reloading the Lazy Susan. And one thing that I really, really try to keep in mind when I am organizing and decluttering for other people is to try and keep things in the same space they already were because that's where the homeowner knows where to look for them. So if I moved everything around, they would probably get frustrated and a little bit confused and think I threw away a bunch of their stuff. <laughs> so that is never the goal. That is never what I wanna do. So I try really hard to keep the organization in the same area. So I'm going ahead and putting everything back in there pretty much in the same space, just a little more organized, a little less stuff, and definitely nothing expired. Alrighty, and here's the last little bit of loading things in to the Lazy Susan. I think it turned out really nice. I'm really pleased with how this looks. I know the lighting is terrible, but you know, it's an old house, so not super great lighting in here. But our next project for my grandma's house is the cabinet right to the right of this Lazy Susan. I'm just one cabinet over. 
this is another cup cabinet, <laughs> but it's the like little kid cup cabinet for like babies and toddlers and all that. Well, it's supposed to be. There's a lot of random stuff in here, but again, these are low cabinets. So my grandma has not seen the back of these cabinets for years. They are really deep and really low. As you can see, I'm like fully bent over shoving my entire arm back there to get things. So uh, <laughs> yeah, not ideal. I don't super love deep cabinets. I, They really don't serve any purpose other than to lose things back there. But after we got everything out of here, once again, same process, laid everything out. My grandma came over. She told me what everything was, what she wanted to keep, what she was willing to get rid of. And then it was time to reorganize. So a lot of these cups are more on the sentimental side for her. So they're not cups that get used, but they are cups that she wants to keep. So what I ended up doing is all of the cups that were sentimental keep items were the things that I shoved way back in the very bottom back, because obviously she doesn't need to get to them. She just wants to keep them. So those went way back in the storage section. And then as I moved forward, the more regular use items got moved towards the front. Don't mind that random baby doll. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was laying there. Parker brought that over while she was playing and apparently I was in charge of that baby at that moment. Alrighty guys, after I finished loading up this kid cup cabinet, we went on to a major project. This was a couple days later, but my grandma has three junk drawers <laughs> that she has not sorted through in a very, very long time. So this is junk drawer number one. Um, this one is the least, the least cluttered. It's the most used for sure. But I just went through each drawer pulled absolutely everything out, and we made a gigantic mound of junk drawer stuff. <laughs> the moment that I put it in a giant pile, I could tell immediately my grandma was for sure stressing out, but I was like, just remember, it's one item at a time. Don't look at the giant pile. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand you one thing, and you make a decision about that one thing. So that's kind of how we did it. I laid everything out and I brought her a couple things at a time so she could look at them and decide. And then what I also had her do was as she was deciding what she wanted to keep and what she wanted to get rid of was to kind of organize the keep stuff into sections because what we ended up finding were a lot of duplicates of things, which obviously with this giant pile, that's going to happen because you lose things in all of those drawers. So... I scooted the trash can right up next to my grandma so I could hand her things and she could just throw them if she didn't want them. Anything that we threw away was not something like donatable or keepable in any sense. Like we're talking like rubber bands that were crusty and falling apart, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so easy enough to just throw all of that extra stuff away.
as we got like about halfway through, maybe three quarters of the way through, I found this method working really well. I would take one of her organizational bucket things and put a few things in there and hand her the bucket. And then when she would clear out that bucket, I would take it back and fill it with a few more things for her and just keep trading those out. Cause a lot of this stuff was little like tiny knickknacky stuff that she had to sort through. So it was easier just to keep trading little containers out. Um, and then as I got them back and we got more towards the end, I could do a little bit of organizing as we went. Like we did not go through and test pens or pencils. There just wasn't time on this day to do that. So for me, it was more just get like items in the same container so we can see how many we have of each item. And so the sorting began. As we went through all of these keep items and got them sorted and whatnot, I had my grandma tell me what drawer they came from because again, like I said with the Lazy Susan, I try to put things back where they came from just so that there's not a lot of overwhelm and confusion about where things went, especially with three different junk drawers. They might have looked like absolute chaos to me, but my grandma's been using them for years, so she knows where her things are and where they go. So. Whether or not I thought it was a good place for them, I went ahead and put them back in that same general location so that when she went to go find her stuff, it was still there. And another random bonus about have, having everything out on the table in front of her was that we kind of did a second declutter. After we did the initial get rid of trash and stuff, then she could see all the like items she had and go through them, like all those little Christmas light things were really old just got rid of all of those because she has such a huge stash of Christmas supplies downstairs she does not need a container of replacement lights upstairs I assure you she has plenty downstairs but anyway things like that just little cluttery things that have just been shoved in the back of the drawer for a really long time we did a second pass and got rid of even more stuff Okay, we are officially on to the cleaning and reorganization reloading process. I wiped out all the drawers, made sure they were nice and sanitized, and then I went ahead and reloaded everything. Uh, this drawer, this was the first drawer, so again, not as bad as the other two, uh, but I was so, so excited about how these turned out, and my grandma was too. I think it just like... Though the process of decluttering can be very, very stressful and overwhelming, the end result is always so worth it because now she could see literally everything that was in there. There wasn't like stacks and cramming and shoving going on. Everything was laid out nicely. You could still see the bottom of the drawer so you knew where absolutely everything was. I need to ask her if these are working for her, but like I said, I put everything back where it came from, so I haven't gotten any calls asking where anything is, so I suspect it's working out good for her. All right, guys, I'll show you a little uh, before and after of all of these drawers. Alrighty, final project of the day. Hello, lighting change. We're at my dad's house now, and I'm gonna do his Lazy Susan. His Lazy Susan's a little different. Um, definitely more packed, and uh, they seem to have an issue with uh, letting things just expire in here and not realizing they have like five of the same item. 
So uh, there's a lot more uh, stuff that we threw away, unfortunately, from this cabinet, but uh, I like to do a little organization every time I'm there. Same process as before, unload everything, but for this one, I was checking expiration dates as I went. So once I get everything pulled out, I already have the throwaway pile completed. So I will show you that here in a second. Okay, so this section on the left is everything we had to throw away. There were like five bags of those little uh, saltine crackers that had been opened and partially used and left there to die. <laughs> like, there were five bags of expired crackers. It was crazy. I was giving my stepmom such a hard time. I was like, you gotta look in your cabinets before you go shopping. Like, why? <laughs> My dad and my stepmom are crazy busy people. They work really hard at their jobs. So the last thing they want to do is go through their Lacey Susan at home. So I get it, which is why I'm happy to help. <laughs> but obviously next step is make sure everything is scrubbed down, sanitized, all that. And then we will get to the reloading process. I feel like this space was a huge transformation just because we got rid of so much stuff. So like the space situation was so much better in here. Uh, but yeah, this was the last space that I worked on before I got on my flight and flew back home. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through my grandma and my dad's kitchen and clean things out. If you're new to the channel and enjoy decluttering, deep cleaning, all that good stuff, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.